Some insider. I have no problem with nobody. Man. I'm good with <laughs> That's not Green. true. You got a problem with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a problem. No, he has a problem listen. with me because he went on his podcast. No, 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 like no, 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 no. You got a problem with somebody. I didn't. I, I, you talking about your friend Charla? Talking about him? That's my brother. You have a problem. Yeah, that's your. Is that just, who's the say, who can He say just called you his brother. Father I didn't say nothing. I don't call people my brother. You he checked just, him earlier. You said he got the same father, mother. Which one? He is just what? called. He called. He called. He's us? not your brother. He's a dear friend of yours. He's a dear friend, a really okay. good friend of mine. That's yes. great. I appreciate that. I, lo I, li I love that for you. And All I'm saying is, he dissed me first on his platform. What was the diss? So, he questioned whether I was number five on this list. He never said why. You could tell if you listen to the things as our incredible team will tell you. There was like like a hard edit of whatever the hell he said or didn't say. And then multiple times after, he referenced back in a way to put me down for no reason. Taylor. Elliot. I don't think you should be number five. Number four, Charlemagne the God. All right, now let me read this, right? Last year's ranking number three, featured on The Breakfast Club, The Brilliant Idiots, known for sensational commentary, asking provocative questions in his Donkey of the Day segment, most memorable moments in the past year being sampled by... I think, Jason, that's what I mean when I say, why, why, why are you upset that people are transcending hip-hop? I don't... I'm, I'm not trying to be the 50-year-old person still complaining about not being on lists, beefing with screamers, doing goofy shit, you know, starting shit, you know, online with rappers just to keep my name relevant. No, I want to do things and put my... So he dissed me four times in the podcast. And then in the video version, he cut out the other parts where he dissed me and only showed one part where he dissed me. Damn, y'all are real journalists. I didn't see none of that. Yeah, well, you got you to look deep. So, you gotta peep deep. so, okay, so we're talking about... So you went on Twitter and you said... What'd you, wait, what was the first tweet he said? Certified he, cover boy. What was the first? We, can, we can pull it up. I can't read some of it, but we can pull it up. No, he dissed me first on his platform, Brilliant in his podcast. He, it was, it was. Andrew after, Schultz wasn't yeah. there. Nala was there, so he had more free reign to just kind of go in. He gave like a very scathing like account of everybody on the list. He, oh, we, he skipped, okay, he was going. He that's skipped, how it started. He skipped Rory and Mal. That didn't come out either, so that's suspicious because him, Rory and Mal have some differences. So that wasn't even mentioned at all. That was edited out if he mentioned them at all. And then, like I said, he mentioned me. Elliot, you don't belong in number five on this list. You can hear like an edit that why he doesn't even explain why that's, that's the case. And there's also references after of him dissing me. So I responded on Twitter and I said, fuck you, because I feel like we've had this like passive aggressive couple of years of he's not my dear friend. He's not my brother. I've had respect for him. We've done business together in different ways. And he's been on Rap Radar platform and I've been on the Breakfast Clubs and I've been on Brilliant Idiots. But... I just don't feel like we're ever going to be dear friends. I'm not in the group chat that DJ heads on with him. Um, and we could just be like what it is, that we're not cool like that. Let's stop pretending we're cool. We're not cool. And but y'all but y'all have. And I'm fine with it. Y'all have had sit downs and conversations. And they've been great. And it wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> because I tried to, I tried to, whatever, I guess, I'm not even reconciliation, but I've always tried to say, I because I do have great respect for him, that let's try to, you know, maybe I'm bugging. I always sensed something I felt wasn't cool, but maybe I'm bugging. So how did but how did he end up on Rap Radar with y'all? I kept asking him. He's, well, he's good friends with B. B Dot's a dear friend of him also. Uh, they're in their group chat. I don't know if that's the same group chat you're in. Uh, so we asked him to be on the show, and finally he did it. And we had a great interview. I've done great content with him. But so, but if you if you felt like there was a rift or something that was there, I, just, I have to explain it again. He just dissed me on his but, platform. But no, that, I'm talking about before, before that. Was there any tension? You or said what, there was passive it? aggression before that. So why would you sit with somebody then and not sit with him now? I was on academics. I was did a podcast with academics, and I felt like sometimes me and him have funny style type of relationship. And I said it, and then he didn't like that I said that. So that was the first time. But he said negative things about me way back in the days about critical of me, and that's fine. People can be critical of you. I just feel like, for whatever reason, chemistry wise, we don't get along. And you know, I get really protective about my place in hip hop, and I hate this narrative of like, he's to me right now isn't OG himself, right? If you look at his career. But he, what he tries to do is is not acknowledge that and put the narrative that the OGs, like the Sways and the Big Boys and the Angies and Elliot Wilson, they shouldn't compete because they're their own kings and queens and they belong in this own area. And as I've always said, I'm creating new shows with Jeremy Heck and DJ Head. I'm trying to create content. I also felt like I didn't like him bigging you up and then dissing me when it's like, 
if anybody acknowledges how great you've been doing and like your space in media and what you've been accomplishing is me who reached out to you and said, hey, can we try to do this thing? So I always feel like people do that too. Like they'll just beat out, they'll big up beat out and then put me down. It's like, that's divide and conquer. I don't like that shit either. So I felt like it just was, it just felt even more personal from him towards me. So I'm, 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 I'm beyond now trying to figure out, is it good or is it bad? I just accept that we're not cool and let's keep it moving. So it, so there's, so I saw you, when I saw you tweet, the, well, before I think you went on, I think it was before you went on Backfield, Backfield. Backfield Podcast, you tweeted like, this yo. This is the tweet. I, I don't want to read it. Let's I just see. said, fuck you. Oh, the diss with the Hall of Fame thing? Yeah, I don't really yeah. mean that. I'm just talking shit. A Hall of Fame <laughs> career, a Hall of Fame career, third mic nigga, crying about my top like five. I the N word. We don't want to hit uh, a Hall of Fame career. HOF is Hall of Fame, right? Yep. A Hall of Fame career, third mic nigga crying about my top five status. Leg legacy these nuts. I got great content on the way. Hashtag I should have just wrote legacy these nuts. 2024 GOAT. Yes, that's me. So that's a lot of hostility. Well, I was angry. I'm not angry anymore. I was angry. <laughs> you let it out. That was your therapy. <laughs> okay. So the kids call it a crash out. I just say I clapped. That was, oh, so you me. crashed out. But he crashed out on me on his platform. Why is that not a crash out? Well, it was a critique. So the narrative is, I even though he didn't critique, he never explained why I'm not number five on the list. He did skip over it. He skipped he did over skip, it. Skip he over. didn't share it with the world. He did it even more sideways. If he said something, he edited it out of the final broadcast, so you couldn't even. So you were a little bit more confused too. You're like, I wasn't I, confused. I, I, no, clearly. But but you know, <laughs> see clearly. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I'm saying you might have been confused <laughs> as to why he felt that way, like why he didn't think you deserved to be top five. I just said because he wants he doesn't he doesn't think the OG should be judged that way, and he doesn't want to be an OG yet. So he, does, he wants us to be in our own little section. Like, so if you put most times, because what those lists will do, they'll put the Sways and the Angie's and the Big Boys out of the top 10 per se, have to put them in because they are icons and legends of Hall of Famers like myself. So we're okay if we're not in the top 10 or the top five, but our presence there, you know, is disruptive in his mind for whatever reason, but he never explained why. Do you don't think you, so you think that you, no matter what, no matter what legacy or not, you should still be included depending on where your works are. I think that I've done active things as they, they explained into it. The tile to create an interview I do with Rap Radar, my presence on social media, building this show with you guys. They explain why I deserve to be number five. Me, my take, my opinions mattering in this Drake Kendrick beef, my role in that. Like I did a lot of great things in the last 12 months. That's what they're judging it by. I took the position they gave me last year, number eight or whatever. I didn't like that. I worked harder in the last year to raise my position. So I went up three slots to number five. I think I earned that shit. So when they I think I earned it. And I don't care about anybody else trying to dismiss it, especially when you ain't got the balls to explain why. Well, okay. So that's where I was going back. I wouldn't even I didn't even know about that tweet. But I was talking about the other tweet. And that tweet, that's just talking shit. I don't really mean that. Look, I can't deny his place in the game, but also He's an OG too. So as you try to OG box me, OG box yourself because you're an OG too. Well, I think he does that too. No, he doesn't. Never called it. He, he tries to give reverence to the ones that came before, except not me. Other oh, radio you're talking people. about you being exclusionary of you specifically. He he plays back and forth. He wants to he treat me that way sometimes, but then also he wants to be critical of me and competitive with me. Okay. So the the tweet that I was talking about, not the fuck Charlemagne tweet, but the one where you posted where you said uh um, damn. It was one. T I don't know if we have it, but it, I wasn't referring to that tweet. It was one tweet where you were talking about. Fuck. Give me some reference. I'll find it. Oh, it, it shouldn't be that far back. No, he tweets a lot. He does tweet a lot. <laughs> Elliot tweets a lot. Well, my IG might have it. IG might be more clear. Okay. Go to my IG. All right. Let me see. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you right now because I don't want to miss. We'll edit and zip this up quicker, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just want to say we'll for the record. Together. I'm sitting this one out. I know I'm usually, I could certify Coverboy this one, but I love no, no, no. Wilson. I, want you to I love Charlotte. I'm a fan of Charlotte. No, somebody so said, I'm, you know who, uh, I never met Oh, the, the, uh, the, um, the, the, the tweet, not the tweet, but I'm sorry. Uh, I saw some comments because I was looking at the comments trying to figure out. I don't know. When you, when, I didn't know. Like when you first did it, I mean, when you first started tweeting, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> but then I heard, I seen some comments or whatnot, and it was saying basically how you, can dish out critiques, but then you can't handle critiques of yourself. So how do you feel about that? He didn't share the critique. Like I said, he just questioned me being on the list. 
No, I'm talking about just not okay, Charlemagne, yes. But yes. also outside of that, when it comes to like we all get bashed on well, me and you. Jeremy don't really yeah. bash in the me. comments. I'm dealing with being hated on 24-7. You see it all the time on my social feed. I sh also share the you negative share comments the <laughs> towards me sometimes, right? So I think I have a thick skin, but I'm also gonna clap back at you if I choose to clap back at you. And I don't think that's crashing out, especially when somebody else went overly critical against you, or at least on their platform, singled you out. Out of anybody on this list, I was the most singled out in terms of like questioning my presence in hip hop. No, I don't think so. so I think Tyson not took a lot of heat for being on that list. No, just no, not from Charlamagne. Specifically, no. I will oh, you're say, talking about from Charlamagne. I will yeah. say, you're, you, you're not crazy in the fact that he did. Like, you, I listen to Brilliant Idiots every week. I'm a massive fan. Yeah, when, as, a, as, I am know, I. I know, as am I. I noticed that. You know, when he, he did be, say number five. And I don't, and and I don't then, think if Andrew was on the show, it would have been the same thing, too. Andrew wasn't on the show that episode. Yeah, why do not you saying think... that Andrew's my homie like that. I respect for him, too. He's not a brother or dear friend, but I do respect Andrew. And I just think he played into the thing of this, you know, now as a young journalist and bigging up his people and this whole thing of who's cool with him and drawing these lines. And if you judge it by that, I'm not that. And he gives this really passionate breakdown of the whole list. He read Joe Budden's critique, even though him and Joe have had years of attention. He read his thing pretty clean and gave him respect and said he belongs where he belongs. So why you say why you say it's fifty said why you say fuck me for why you singling it out but it's to bed to me I don't you know we can move forward oh you tweeted uh you were in, <laughs> you were invited you, you, you were invited on oh yeah on yeah. the Breakfast yes, Club that's and true. you were invited on Brilliant Idiot all platforms and you declined shout out to and you said yeah. hi and that was after this happened yeah so I got upset and I did my rant or what it crashed out as the kids say and responded back and said f you so then um. Taylor, his producer, reached out and said, did I want to go on the, on, the, on the Brilliant Idiots platform? And I said, no, not Brilliant. What was the first one? Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. And Brilliant Idiots. Yeah, if, no, first Brilliant Idiots. Do I want to go on the show, I guess, to discuss the problems here? I said, no. I said politely no, whatever I said. Then she said Breakfast Club. I said the same thing. I said, oh, I said no, thank you. And why, and why then the no? third, And then the third one was like, somebody said I should go on Flagrant. And I was like, you know what? I would do Flagrant. And Andrew Schultz's show. Yeah. Which sometimes Charlemagne's on and sometimes he's not, but mostly it's, he, it's Andrew. He, yeah, he, he's only a guest on there. Okay, so here's what happens. I say flagrant, yes. Okay, cool. When do y'all tape? If I have time, I'm about to leave New York. Let's do flagrant. Which and, is and then Taylor comes back to me and says, Okay, cool. We're so excited. You know, Charlemagne's gonna be a guest co-host on this episode. So then I went back to no, thank you. <laughs> so, so you don't want to have So any... what are y'all lining me up? Like, what but the fuck why, is that? But why like, don't you <laughs> Well, no, you were being petty there too. You were being petty there. How's that petty? Because you were going to go on the show why without Charlamagne. Why can't I do Flavor without Charlamagne? How's that being petty? But why not have the conversation, I guess? is like What made you say no to the, all the platforms? Because I don't want to sit with him. Let's stop pretending that we're cool. Let's just be what it no, is. No, no. You can sit with somebody and have opposition. I don't necessarily want to have opposition with him because I do respect him. I just want him to stop pretending we're cool when we're not. Yeah, I passed on the billionaires invite and the breakfast club. Oh, uh, am I petty? petty. That yes. was the beginning. You know, I asked the fans. Then they said you should, you could choose to do flagrant, and then I said again, I'll do flagrant. And I was surprised when flagrant came with the ask of Charlemagne has to be included. So then I said no, I do not want to sit with Charlemagne. So you don't want any resolve, is what you're saying? It's resolved to me. We're not cool. Just fuck it. Yeah, do not mean we have beef. We could be in the same room. We're not going to fight. We're not, not going to disrespect him. It's just, let's just stay. Well, when you where, say fuck that? somebody, that's... That's just a response. He said fuck me on his platform. He didn't say fuck you. He did, and to me, he did. To, to Birda's baby boy, he did. <laughs> he sucked. To Birda's, Elliot Jesse Wilson yeah, but, Jr., but, but, he did. But, 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 but to me, growing in, up from being Woodside Projects, he did. It's just what it is. That's but how your interpolation it. of something is not the same thing as somebody saying something. I literally said I was the only one singled out of a list of 25 people. Even Rory Malpart was cut out. I was the only one singled out and being critical set up. He said, my only problem with the list is DJ has not included and Elliot Wilson's at number five. Again, part of why I'm on the what, list what if is I created this incredible best hip hop debate show we have 10 episodes in better than anybody else called The Bigger Picture where I work with DJ Head. Why are you bigging up DJ Head and putting me down? What if he thought you should be higher on the list? <laughs> <laughs> what if your last name wasn't Drake? <laughs> <laughs> like what Kanye say? I guess we'll never know. I just think that I, I just, we'll I just think that. So I'm gonna give you another perspective, and this is a perspective that I can't take credit for. Gina Views shared it on our sh on our radio show, mm. Effective Immediately. Shout out Gina Views. Shout out Effective Gina. Immediately. I love Effective Immediately. Gina Views thinks that as as up and coming media personalities, 
myself, Jeremy, I don't want to say myself, I've been doing this shit a long time, but Jeremy Hecht, Gina Views, people like that, right? The Backfield guys, like all these, the Need to Know podcasts, all these different platforms that you, that you all fuck with, right? Yep. Nyla Simone. Nyla Simone, everybody. Um, us looking at the OGs, we have to also pull from you guys. So someone on this side, right, who probably has been hypercritical of you, and then you then saying, nah, fuck that, fuck it, I don't want to resolve, I don't want to talk or whatever, we're also paying attention to that. I'm not saying that you have to. I'm just saying no, I that I, I always try to keep that in mind in the way that I move. You know what I mean? Like, as, as far as, like, okay, I could say, like, there's plenty of people who have been super critical of me, especially over the last three years of my career, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I don't necessarily feel the need to sit with them, right, at this moment in time. But I am, I am keeping in my mind that if I do engage and go back and forth with this person, there are other people who are seeing that activity. And then if someone then wants to create resolve and me saying, oh, I turn that shit down to my petty, it's like that then sets the precedent of how other people can respond to those types of adversities. I, I received that. That's fair. Yeah. I, my thing now, my position just is, I, it's, it's over to me, so let's just let it be over. I don't want to diss him anymore. He shouldn't diss me anymore. I mean, he can still be critical of me. Obviously, we all create art and things out here, so I can accept his criticism. I'm not going to get back any back and forth with him anymore, and it's, it's just what it is, and let's move forward. Assuming, though, today, so, like, if we looked at, like, a Drake and Kendrick type battle where it's back and forth, <laughs> back and forth. I, I'm just saying because this might happen, because Brilliant It is drops on Thursdays. He, oh, he, he won't says some crazy won't, about me. I'm just saying. Let's just he say. Probably about no, he won't, he won't say anything crazy. He'll, he'll. I know Charlamagne. He'll throw a sub, subliminal shot. But like, let's say he throws <laughs> a nice subliminal at you, and it's some something. I don't want to be the 50 year old he, guy. He, this in casa, not. I saw he posted. He's dirty. He got that shit off two or three times already too. But okay. But I'll let's stop. just say he does that. Yeah. Is it still dead? Or are we gonna be back and forth? I'm gonna try my best not to crash out and react to anything that he does. I, 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 if that's really gonna happen, I don't know. Time, will we ever resolve it one day? I don't know. Like that's the thing too. You, I promise somebody. Like, well, when are you gonna squash the beef? Like, is it over forever? Because I just want everybody to be cool. It's just like, it could be not cool, and people could live with it and be fine. And we should not diss each other, like you said, because we are inspiration to a new generation of people in media. So it's nasty. A lot of people don't want to see us have a public conflict. I get that. And I have to honor that and respect that because I do. I hate I, seeing it. I want to fruit, huh? I said I hate seeing it. <laughs> I hate seeing my two of, two of my. I, I was on a shout out to uh, Fig Community World. Are you, so did you feel that way? As has said, like could being a younger generation person, like is it is it bad if older media folks that you respect have this kind of public conflict? No, I wouldn't say it's bad. I will say like I've I've I study the game to your point. Like I I, I study you. I study Charlemagne. I study anyone who's made it to that level. And what have they done to get there? What have they done? How how have they avoided conflict? How have they dealt with conflict? Yeah. Everyone at some point has dealt with conflict. Yeah. So I've I've prepared like okay, I'm strategy. If somebody ever came at me on a podcast, I know how I would do it. You know, certified but, cover boy's right, ready, baby. He's I'm ready. ready. I'm clip loaded, but. <laughs> But, I, but what I do hate, they asked me on, on Fit Community World, they were like, do you feel the need to inherit beefs if Head or, or Elliot or somebody is in a bit? And, and I, I just love being a fan still. And yeah. you know I'd have your back with anything. Like if anybody came at this, this crew or this show, mm -hmm. I'm there. But I, as a fan of you and Charlamagne, I would love to have peace in this space. I, but I, I'm not saying you're not right in responding. I'm not saying that because mm -hmm. I think you deserve to have a critique if somebody critiques you. And I don't know the behind the scenes, but I would love to see peace at some point, whether that be on a platform or a, or a, or a talk or. Yeah, I'm just saying like, for instance, um, hip hop, we all know it's a competitive thing. So is media, yep. journalism. Yep. It's all it's all a competitive thing. I'm not saying that you should go on the show and create Kumbaya. I'm saying to have public spats when, I mean, obviously you feel like he started it, right? And I, I, when I talked to him about it, I did tell him, well, you're accountable for this. You know what I mean? In mm -hmm. the same way I told him that I was going to uh, tell you some things. But it was more like I look at it from a perspective of we are all setting examples. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not saying that we all got to be friends. That's no, not, I get it. I it's get people it. I'm not friends with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cool, whatever. Like, even like when, when I was on academic show, I let him know. As soon, soon, yeah. as I, soon as he brought me on, I'm like, hey, just so you know, yeah. I've said disparaging things about you. I, I stand on them. I still think they're true. Yep. I don't necessarily like how you go about moving in the culture, but I respect your space in it and, you know, yeah. whatever. And let's have a conversation. So that's how my approach, because not because that's what I want to do. I don't want to talk to him about it because he's 
all the way leaning this way or whatever, or it'd be blow ups or whatever. But the way I approach it is I'm looking at, I know someone's watching yep. at all times. And so that's how I try to connect. That's all. I, that's the only point that I want to make. No, I receive it. 